the weight issue with the MC-21 aircraft first emerged after the program transitioned to the use of domestically produced composite materials and electronic systems. So how did the weight problem arise? Russia's import substitution policies prompted this change. Originally equipped with foreign-made components, the MC-21-300 had a maximum takeoff weight of approximately 72.5 tons. Nevertheless, the aircraft's weight increased considerably, nearly by 6 tons, following the transition to Russian-made materials and systems. This change resulted in the maximum takeoff weight of the MC-21-310 version being 85 tons. The Eastern Economic Forum in September 2024 marked the first formal acknowledgement of this significant weight increase. First Deputy Prime Minister Denis Mantarov confirmed at that event that the import substituted version of the aircraft had indeed become heavier, which had a negative impact on its overall operational characteristics and flight range. Now, let us examine the official responses from both the government and the media. The Russian media chronicled the consequences of the MC-21's weight increase in great detail. According to reports, the aircraft's flight range was nearly reduced by half when flying with a complete passenger load, resulting in a range of only 2,000 to 2,800 kilometers. This range reduction effectively shifted the MC-21 from its original medium-haul aircraft category. Journalists also observed that the weight gain was not entirely related to the replacement of imported composite materials. The installation of domestic avionics and other Russian-made components also contributed to the overall increase. Denis Mantarov publicly acknowledged that the government and manufacturers had been forced to consider the development of a modified version of the MC-21 with a shortened fuselage, the MC-21-2-10, that could accommodate 140 to 150 passengers and preserve an acceptable flight range in response to these concerns. Representatives from both PJSC Yakovlev and the United Aircraft Corporation UAC indicated that ongoing efforts were underway to reduce the weight of the aircraft. These efforts included the introduction of new composite materials and design modifications to the wing and tail structures, with the goal of reducing the aircraft's weight by several hundred kilograms. Now, let us examine the current situation and weight reduction plans. At present, the Central Aerohydrodynamic Institute, TSAGI, is carrying out comprehensive testing on all prototype MC-21310 aircraft. To implement the knowledge acquired and minimize the overall weight, engineers are consistently modifying the design of the wing, tail, and numerous fairings. One specific measure that has already demonstrated positive results is the use of new composite materials and technical solutions. This approach has enabled a reduction of 200 kilograms in the weight of the wing through a single technical improvement. In general, aircraft manufacturers are optimistic that they will be able to reduce the total weight of the aircraft by several hundred kilograms, which will partially offset the weight gain that was previously caused by the transition to domestic components. The industry's dedication to the adoption of sophisticated materials and technologies is evidenced by the fact that composites now constitute 35 to 40 percent of the aircraft's structural weight. This figure is a record for Russian-made airliners. Uh, first of all, composites. We have made a wing that is a detachable part of the wing. Uh, most of the composites are spar panels, which are many internal power sets. These are all elements of wing mechanization. Also on the aircraft, the tail wing, Kiev stabilizer, rudder, the direction of the height rudder, and a fairly large number of fairings, wing fairing, fuselage, fairing, thread, flaps, and so on. And basically all the prototypes have been manufactured there. They are now undergoing tests. We have already successfully passed static tests. Currently, we're implementing modifications to the vehicle's design, allowing accumulated experience from previous years to achieve a video mass of several hundred kilograms. Our goal is to detach this from the wing, specifically a portion from the tail feathers and another from the fairings of our winged aircraft beforehand. In Obninsk, panels for the stabilizer Kilyai were made and the final assembly was at Aviastar. 
Now completely and all composite assembly parts are made at our Kazan plant. We worked on the kappa of the composition using the Shefed MS program. We developed a design. We made two prototypes of a large caisson in a course of up to six and a half meters and up to 22 mil long. This means that we tested one under static load, brought it to destruction under the design load, and now we have kacha. Usagi serves as an exceptional stand, a unique architectural structure where this testing occurs. So, what are the weight specifications as of the present? The MC21-300, which was the first variant with foreign components, had a maximum takeoff weight of 72,560 kilograms and a two-class range of 6,400 kilometers. Conversely, the MC21-310, which employs components manufactured in Russia, has a maximum takeoff weight of 85,000 kilograms and a range of 5,100 kilometers. This implies that the new variant is 5.75 to 6 tons heavier than the original. The expected weight reduction of 200 to 500 kilograms is anticipated to be achieved through the implementation of new composites and other technical solutions, despite ongoing efforts to reduce weight. While the anticipated decrease represents a significant improvement, it doesn't fully rectify the weight increase resulting from the import substitution program. In conclusion, the MC21's weight issue was first officially recognized in 2024 when it was evident that the aircraft's weight had increased by nearly six tons as a result of the transition to Russian-made materials and systems. Currently, efforts are underway to reduce the aircraft's weight through the implementation of novel composite materials and design modifications. Nevertheless, the MC-21 continues to be heavier than the original version, which was constructed with foreign components, despite the implementation of these measures. In the future, the objective is to further reduce the weight by several hundred kilograms. This could potentially restore the aircraft's classification as a genuine medium-haul airliner and enhance its flight performance. Now, do you think the MC-21 program will eventually achieve its weight targets? Let us know in the comments. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.